welcome back to another Nurse Angie video. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Nurse Angie. I make a whole bunch of nursing related videos. And if you guys aren't new here, what's up girl? Thank you for coming back to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So if you guys are true subscribers, and if you're not true subscribers and you're new subscribers, please stay tuned because I will be giving away a Davis drug guide and, uh, but wait, but, 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 but wait for it, an MDF stethoscope. So if you guys are interested in learning how to win these two items, please stay tuned. Okay, so hey guys, I am back. I just wanted to come back here. It's been a little bit over a week or two that I haven't been on my YouTube channel. So I just wanted to come back here and tell you guys where I've been, a little bit about being a new nurse and also give back to you guys and give away the two items that you saw in the intro. So before we get into that, you have to watch the video, okay? You just, you just, if you love me, you watch the video. If you like me, you'll watch the video. But anyway, so I just want to give you guys like a quick update where I've been, how it is it being a new nurse and how I'm managing, how I'm just doing it. So first things first, um, I work at one, I work at two different facilities. I work at one that is, I would say very up to date and very high acuity. And also it has its long term floor. And then I also work at one that's still on papers, um, not as up to date and um, a little bit more of like a psych uh, facility. So I work at two different facilities and I've worked mostly at the uh, high acuity facility that's a little bit more update. And with working there, I'm learning so, so much. It's like ridiculously crazy how much I'm learning. But um, overall, just like emotionally for me, it could be a little bit, not that there's high emotions, but for me, it sometimes when I don't know things or when I feel like I should know things that I don't know or just when you talk with certain nurses who are like well did you do this and did you do that and I'm just like I did it I can kind of get hard on myself overall being a new nurse is it's it's really stressful um and it's just it's good stress when I say stress, I don't mean bad stress. I don't know if there is good stress, but to me, it's good stress because it's stressful in a way where I'm always, I always have to stay sharp, like stay sharp as in practices, like medical practices, stay sharp as in always just thinking what's the next move if something goes wrong or something goes left. I always have to stay sharp as in like, always keeping up with my patients on what meds they have, what meds they're taking. It's like, I'm always having to update my mind. You know how like your phone updates? I'm always having to update my mind. So I would consider that to be good stress because I'm always looking up a drug or I'm always looking up a policy or I'm always asking somebody, hey, how do you do this? Or what do I do when this happens? So I feel like I'm very updated a lot. Another thing would be, I guess this is not necessarily good stress, this is kind of like bad stress, I would say, I don't know, I'm just going to stop titling stress, um, is time management. In school, we talked like a good amount of time management, but it's different when you're actually no, no instructor, just you and maybe your orienter. And that's it. It's really hard. And it's not hard in the essence of getting time management down. It's hard in a way where you need to, like for me in particular, time management is difficult knowing which patients to go f to first for medications. Like which patient should I start my med pass with first because and also depending on what floor that I work on because there's a rehab floor and then there's the long-term care floor you have to know which patients are normally likely to sundown a little bit after dinner so they should get their you know their psychoactive medications before so they don't have as much of a behavior so 
it's things like that and then also things like when you work on the rehab floor especially for me getting admissions oh my god I'm still trying to master that and I don't know that I'll master it very soon but I'm getting better every day but it's like you have a whole new person that's brand new to your facility sorry you have a whole new person that's brand new to your facility and you have to basically orient them to their new accommodations in the middle of you doing a med pass in the middle of you either getting report like whatever the case may be and then you have to go in there assess that patient get consent signed all this stuff so that really throws a wrench in my day when i'm trying to just get my bearings as a new nurse and try to like master med pass and really trying to see who I go to first and like I came out with those uh, medication tips but it's hard to even follow those I'm the one who made the video and it's hard for me to even follow those things because every day is so different when it comes to working in healthcare and just working at a nursing home like every day is so so different and as much as I want to plan my day out I just can't sometimes so Another thing that I would say that is a learning curve is things that I didn't learn in school. Like, I did not learn how to fill out a lab slip. I did not know how to check with pharmacy. I didn't know how to fax medications over to pharmacy. I didn't know how to transcribe and note orders. Like, those are things that I wish nursing school would have prepared me for. Because those are little housekeeping things, but they're so essential and with your patient care that it's like why didn't we go over this like why didn't we go? but um they're easy to know think luckily at my place we have a unit secretary that kind of takes care of those little housekeeping things like lab slips and um setting up appointments and you know things like that but at another place that i work we are the unit secretary the nurse and sometimes the aide we're everything we're the we're the people that they go to to ask for their meds to ask when their appointment is to ask who's going on their appointment to ask did they schedule or book when the doctor asks can you book uh x-ray tomorrow or book a c b c or a bmp like girl it is a lot i really wish nursing school would have prepared me for that because Working in the field, they're like, have you ever transcribed orders before? And I'm like, transcribe what? Note what? Like, you know what I mean? So I really wish I learned that in nursing school. And that's a little bit of a learning curve. But it it's not as big as the med pass and, um, you know, admissions. I wish in nursing school that we did a lot more admissions and had more patients and more med pass clinicals for me personally in nursing school we had one med pass clinical in mod three and another med pass clinical in mod four and that's it and we only got i want to say like in the mod four we had one one patient per person and they could have only gotten two drugs now I'm working in the field. I got somebody on eye drops, an inhaler, a NEV treatment, and probably four different types of drugs. Let's just go with Coreg, Coumadin, Metopropylol, and Keflex. You know what I mean? <laughs> And I also wish in nursing school how they stress that when certain drugs are being taken, what vital signs to do or how to write a progress note on top of vital signs because let's say somebody's on their they have a UTI right and they're on an antibiotic let's just say Keflex or Flagyl or whatever they're on an antibiotic and um we need to take their temp and we also need to write a progress note I didn't know that until I started working as a nurse. I wish in school that they would have said, you need to follow up on this. You need to do this, that, and the third one. A patient is having this type of condition or, you know, things like that. Or when somebody's on neurovital signs, I wish they would have told us to go over neurovital signs. These are things that I feel like are very prominent in my 
practice that I wish that I was taught before just going out into the field because I would have at least been familiar with it than being brand new to it. But hey, you can't blame everything on nursing school. These are just things that I wish would have happened. But other than that, being a new nurse has been honestly great and stressful. There's been some days where I go home and I just feel like I let my team down. And there's some days where I go home and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm getting better. So it's all honestly a day by day thing. But overall, I'm pretty much happy. I'm happy that I went to nursing school. I'm happy that I'm practicing my nursing work and that I'm getting better. And I have a, an environment at both of my jobs that they're very supportive. The staff is very, very supportive and they are completely 100% understanding and flexible with me being a new nurse. And I and I can't I can't be more than grateful for that because I've worked in places where the staff don't care. You know, I've worked in places where your DNS and your ADNS and your um, scheduler and whomever else that is does the administration work are solely focused on the company. They're not focused on the people who work for the company. And I'm so grateful that I work in two environments where the nurses, the schedulers, the DNSs, they're all supportive. I see them even going in for my 3 to 11 shift. I see them, we catch up a little bit, we chuckle when med cups fall on the floor <laughs> or when my laptop is plugged in and I'm running away with my cart and everything just gets yanked the other direction. So I honestly couldn't be more grateful for that. But anyway, that's it. That's what that's what I've been doing. I've just been working, guys. I haven't been doing much of anything else. I've been working, 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 working. So yeah. Okay, guys, you made it to the end of the video. So we're going to talk about how to win the MDF stethoscope and the drug guide. First thing you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Second thing you have to do is comment on two of my videos and comment your Instagram handle on both of those videos. Third thing you have to do is like both of those videos. And the fourth thing you have to do is follow me on Instagram. And that is it. You will be entered in the giveaway. So yes, if you guys are excited to win, you better comment, enter, and win, girl, because I'll be doing a lot more giveaways. Just in case you don't win, I'll be doing tons and tons and tons of more giveaways, and you will be winning these exact items. Just letting you know, okay? So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck, good luck, good luck. I really appreciate it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.